Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie if you're new. So today I want to address a question that was sent in. It is from David Anthony and I wanted to thank him personally for just having the courage to ask this question because it's a need in the world and sometimes we don't even know which direction to go to, who to ask, or how to even just make a situation a lot simpler and better for our relationship. I'm going to be answering the question from David in regards to if he should stay in this relationship. After I read his question, I'm I'm also going to read my answer to him. Hi, David. Thank you so much for submitting your question. It says, Hey, Natalie, I was wondering if you could make a video to help out stressed out women to be more sane and normal. We guys have to deal with them on a daily basis and it brings us down and it makes it very difficult to want to stay in the relationship. That's reasonable. A lot of women are abusive and mean spirited and ungrateful, especially good to men. It would be nice if mentally sound women like yourself could help these women find their happiness and get them to admit they need to change. I just wonder why there aren't women helping women, especially addressing this kind of thing. Great question, David. I love this and I can definitely get very much into detail and to obviously help you with this issue that you're having with the relationship that you're in. So my response to David at the time, I said, thank you, David, for this response. And you are absolutely right. This is huge need that many men are facing. So thank you for addressing this. Also, do understand that men in the relationship also play a big part as well. Every partner does. We want to change the other person for the better so that the relationship can flourish. But this also may be a huge pill to swallow. We first must change in order for our circumstances to change and even people around us to change. Having expectations in the relationship relationship also puts pressure and stress to the other person. My best advice to start and give you so you can see a change in your relationship and I will make a video for both partners to understand which is right now is that I understand from her point of view because I am a woman clearly and sometimes I am also very mean to my partner but one thing he does that makes me want to jump him and kiss him and fall in love with him all over again and have him make have him feel like a king as he is is that he listens to me he doesn't try to change me or give me any sort of advice because let's face it we will never ever in a million years yeah very rarely we will never hear our partners advice ever unless they ask for it if they're receptive to the advice and they ask for your advice, that's when they'll take action on it or not. We don't know. But 99% of the time, our partners will never take our advice unless they ask. And that is with anyone, not just in a relationship. That is anyone. Take the time to listen to her about nothing. Not for you to solve every problem that she might have. Women are very emotional. All we want is to be listened to. And the more you do this without having solved everything she says to you, you will have a very passionate relationship with her. She won't be able to figure out, but the more you listen to her, you will feel like a king as you are and her warrior. Don't believe me? Test it out, my friend. Just ask my boyfriend of almost six years his name is marcelo tostas he is my king and my warrior because just the symbol of him listening to me and not solving every problem that comes up with my emotions <laughs> he just listens and the more you get your woman to talk to you she verbally solves her own problems and that's really how it is with everybody if you just ask deep, really deep questions they'll be able to solve their problems, their own problems. Women love to be listened to. Try it out. Best of luck and thank you for sharing this. Now I'm going to I'm also going to address how I also understand from David's point of view as far as a man's understanding as to you know women, some women being mean and not being able to build each other all, you know, other women up and things like that. Um, I am definitely going to address both sides because I understand obviously from women's sides and I definitely understand for a man's sides. I mean, even for women, if you're in an abusive relationship, you have to ask yourself like, is it even worth staying in this? So who am I to even make a video like this? Um, as I said before, I've been in a relationship now for almost six years. It's going to be six years in January with um, my boyfriend Marcelo. And it, has, it hasn't been always like daisies and butterflies and things like that. In fact, I caught myself as being the 
um, woman of abuse, meaning like I've abusively, I abused him with my mouth. I slandered him with my mouth and of the things that I was saying to him. And I was also quite mean as well, but mainly because of my mouth. And I think it all comes back to, it falls back to how I grew up in my childhood as well. And kind of like what I've learned from my upbringing, upbringing and, why, um, and why it was translating into my relationship today. So it's not something that I am proud of, um, but honestly, my best advice for the woman and for the man, whatever situation that you're in, if you find yourself in an abusive relationship, you have to ask yourself, is it worth the trouble? Because one thing I've noticed about relationships is that, hmm, if your partner is willing to change, and I've also noticed that the only the only way for anyone to change in a relationship is i don't know it, it just it, it really falls back to knowing what you want you know and if i don't know all the details as far as the relationship you know with david's case but it's just like figuring out what do you want in a relationship like for me i have many deal breakers <laughs> when i got with my boyfriend it was a deal breaker for me that if he doesn't invest into himself I want nothing to do with that person because I don't want to be the only one growing. I don't want to be the only one staying green and learning new skills and working on my mental and emotional um, skills. Because I, prior to this uh, relationship, I came with a lot of baggage. Um, I couldn't even keep a relationship more than a month. I would say my longest relationship before Marcelo was like six months and I was like 16 years old and I don't feel like it really counts but um, I just didn't have long lasting relationships and I really didn't know how to have those because I grew up in a very abusive home and you know you, you sometimes you're brought up not knowing how to have harmonious relationships with anybody so I knew that I needed a change me i'm talking from me perspective a woman's perspective if you're a man it's like in order for things to change you have to change and my my best advice for david and for anybody else that's listening is that you have to put in the work you have to invest into yourself and the more you change you will start to realize is this relationship even worth it to me do i really want to put up with all the abusiveness and just being mean to me that's a question you would ask yourself the more you grow, the more you stay green. Because me personally, if I, it, it all comes with a choice, right? You have a choice to choose who you want to be with. And me personally, it's a deal breaker. Like if you're abusive and you're mean to me and you're not doing things to get better at, you know, in that area, I'm not gonna waste time. I'm, I don't wanna be with someone like that even though I may see hope, maybe I see potential, but it's like, how about let me, let's first change me so that I can be more aware and see cl things more clearly and figuring out if this is the relationship that I want to be with for the rest of my life. Like ask yourself, do you really want to be with someone who is so mean to you all the time and they're not doing anything about it to change that? I didn't think so. So I always, it all just falls back to the same advice. Work on yourself, work on you the most and everything else will start to change for you. You will be unusually successful the more you invest into yourself. And when I say invest, like obviously invest time to learn from someone who has what you want. Like if you really want a harmonious, passionate, romantic, honorable, respectful relationship, learn from those who have that. And um, you know, my relationship is not perfect, but it is something so wonderful and I never thought I could ever achieve it just because of where I come from and I would say it's one of my greatest accomplishments I've ever had in my entire life all because I worked so hard on me for years and I still do and I'm not perfect either I do get caught up in like saying mean things and things like that but I turned that passion energy into something even better for me and for my my partner i don't know if any of this makes sense but if you're if you're still if you're wondering if you should still 
be in a relationship and this person is being mean to you and it's nothing is really changing um, it's just to ask yourself is, is, is this even worth it let me work so much on myself to me for me to see my value for me to see my self-worth to even stay in something like this so for me like everyone is different you know um, I'm the type of person that just doesn't allow people to take advantage of just because I, I've seen it so much growing up with my upbringing and I'm like I'm not going to have anyone step all over me so even though my childhood wasn't as glamorous as some other people's may have um, might have had I just rebelled against it I'm like you know what I'm gonna work so hard on myself because clearly I'm bringing so much baggage and I want a harmonious relationship I want to feel like a queen I want to be someone's queen I want my men to be a king to be a warrior there's so many tactics as to making your relationship a lot better but like I said is um, we all have baggage we all have things we got to work on and the more you work on yourself than you do anything else, everything will will follow. Like I promise you, I don't know how it works, it just does because you're starting to shed off a lot of ego, you're starting to shed off a lot of things that no longer serve you. Like you clearly want to have a, a beautiful relationship with someone. And you have to understand too that you're bringing baggage into this relationship. So how, what can you do to shed off that? that it's less baggage than before because you don't want to bring all that baggage into your new relationship you want to be free so you got to work on yourself the things that I do to help myself be sane is forgiveness you know there's a few things that my boyfriend will say um, because he's a very direct individual sometimes words do hurt me and it's like why did you say that or you know so I would forgive him I remember I forgave him for a very long time not because he was ever mean to me, it's because I had my own insecurities, right? So I forgave him so many times because he was just someone that I needed to forgive even though he wasn't doing anything to hurt me. He's actually far gone, far away from ever hurting me. And I know I'm like, okay, there's some, there's obviously things that I gotta work on, on myself, but it really just takes this humil humility to do and work on you. So I've, for many years I wrote him down in my journal to forgive and whenever I was ever mean mean to him and it just comes out and it you know I'm not proud of that he always tends to forgive me and I never understood why I never understood why because one day it just hit me it's like okay I forgave him so many times because I chose to feel a certain way whenever he said that he said that I didn't I didn't blame him for making me feel a certain type of way whatever he said or whatever he did whatever I chose to feel angry I chose to feel upset whatever like no one has control over your emotions but you and so I knew that I till this day I have so much to work on and he is literally the best thing I've ever um, have in my life and I know he's a gift from God because he was able to put up with my <laughs> he was able to put up with a lot of me and a lot of that passion was trained from a passionate woman was trained still continue to be trained and now it's just something so harmonious and beautiful and I love him every single day and I'm so thankful for him being so patient with me and just not taking things personally if that makes sense he never took anything personal and if he did it was he forgave quickly he got over it quickly and I feel like that's that's a beautiful thing when someone gets over things so quickly they're able to be free they're able to move on and work on the relationship so it's just a matter of asking yourself is this worth it like I am growing I am getting better I know what I want because I'm growing I'm having more of a vision I'm having more of a clarity of what I want in my life long term is this relationship worth me bringing with for the next 60 70 80 years wherever it is that you are. So what I'm trying to say in this video is work on you, invest into yourself and everything will follow. For me, it's just a huge deal breaker of someone not being able to invest into themselves. And in the beginning, I feel like five years later in our relationship, 
I get reaping the awards or reaping the rewards that I've been planting for years. So overnight, you're not going to see results, but you will see small, small increments of results when you start to work on yourself, when you start to forgive quickly, when you get over things quickly, when you listen, you're growing and you're asking yourself, is this someone that I really want to be with for the rest of my life? You know, it's just all about knowing what you want. And when you know what you want and you're working on yourself, you will have more. I've been, like, I knew what I wanted when I first got into this relationship. I knew I wanted to be with him. But because I was so diligently in working on myself, and it's not easy. It's not easy working on yourself. It, it's, it's ugly. <laughs> it's ugly. But when you're done forgiving, well, you're never really done forgiving. But when you're in that moment done dealing with yourself, you come out looking like a diamond and you get better every day and you get more handsome and beautiful every day. I know that's weird, but it's all true. The more you work on yourself, everything seems to follow for you. Um, I am reaping the awards today, five years later, and I've seen results, obviously, as we go through the years. He is a completely different person, a completely different man, and for women, I advise to start speaking what you want into your man because we all have a choice. Uh, there's never, it's just, there's a saying, I don't know who says, but the grass is always greener on the other side, but it's just as hard to mow because it comes back to you. If you change, everything else will change, even the partner that you're with. If you start speaking life over them, if you understand what makes them tick, if you understand their goals, their interests, and you speak on that, and you also speak about what you want as far as encouraging the other person you will have the man or the woman of your dreams but again falls back to invest into yourself work on yourself learn from others who have results that you want whatever area that is if you want a successful marriage successful relationship learn from those you don't even have to be married to learn from a very successful really a very successful marriage i know for me i've gone to a lot of marriage conferences because growing up i never seen a successful marriage and i wanted to find the cure so i went i attended a lot of marriage conferences and the more that i invested into myself the more i started to see so much change in my relationship and it's so harmonious and beautiful today and um, i'm just very grateful for taking that step to you know work on me and still doing that because we're all human we all have human experiences and um, things will start getting more clear for you as far as what step to take if you want to be with this person or not but it's all about also knowing what you want and if you don't know invest in you daily forgive who the heck do you need to forgive today who do you need to forgive today I need to forgive myself you know so I don't know if this video brought a lot of clarity. If it did, let me know in the comments what was your biggest takeaway from this video. Um, I really do pray that literally you start investing into yourself, work on your damn self a lot more than anyone else. And so that way you can start seeing results in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, in your finances. And also what I've learned too, if this relationship is worth it to you. Um, start practicing gratitude like what are the things that you love about this person like writing down five things that you're grateful for for your individual your partner in the morning and right before you go to bed I know that I, when I started doing implementing this I just started seeing a different light within him I saw a change in him he shocked me with just what I was working with in, 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 in my alone time. I feel like you are who you really are when you're alone. You are who you really are in secret. So what are you doing in secret? What are you investing your time in secret? Are you practicing forgiveness? Are you forgiving yourself? You know, we. I feel like it, it does take two to tangle in a relationship. And the more you're aware of these things, you will know if it's even worth staying um, in, a, in a relationship. Like for me, I never condone, for anyone to stay in an abusive relationship, I just don't. 
So I, I just wasn't involved in one because I've seen it so much growing up with my upbringing that that was just something I never allowed. It was a huge deal breaker as soon as they were somewhat abusive. Bye. That's just me. <laughs> um, so I really, you just have to ask yourself if, it's even, if, that's the, if that's a deal breaker for you, if that's the ending point for you. You know, what do you want? Write it down. Yes, yeah, so in detail. So that way you'll know what to do next in your relationship, whether it's to stay or not. So knowing what your deal breakers are, work on you more than anything else. I know I've said that many times throughout this video, but it's so heavily true. Um, you know, my boyfriend could have many times decided to just leave me. Are you kidding me? I was so mean to him before. I'm not proud of that, but I did forgive myself in that. And I forgive him for me choosing to feel a certain type of way in a certain situations. Um, so forgiveness, number one. <laughs> and that's working on you. That's investing into you. If you have any other questions, don't feel shy, hesitant, whatever. Ask me because I'm here to bring value into your life. I want you to see the transformation. I want you to see the change in your life. But it all starts with us. And the reason why I can say that is because everything that I have today is because I took the step to invest into myself heavily. Because I'm just the type of person that wants it all. <laughs> I really do want it all. Like if you're not that way, that's amazing as well. If you just want one thing, you know, that's great work on that <laughs> i'm just a very passionate individual and i believe in i believe in solutions to every problem i want it all and i think it comes back to where i come from in the past like we didn't have it all and i really have this deep desire to whatever it is that i've learned what all the experiences that i've gone through all the investments that i did into myself i want to pour that knowledge that value that wisdom into you so that you can have that transformation for yourself as well and and the success that you want for yourself and not for someone else putting on you so i love you i do believe in you and yeah thank you so much again for watching this whole video if you found it helpful again like subscribe comment let me know what you enjoyed best thank you again for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye